People of YouTube, welcome to my channel. In preparation for a Tesla solar roof, I needed to replace the electrical subpanels in my home. This led me on a wild goose chase of research of, are panels still dumb? They seem like a hundred year old technology, or have they finally gotten smarter? There really is no definition of what a smart subpanel is. Uh, we get to define it as we go, as this is a relatively new space. My definition of a smart panel would be one that had an app that allowed us to measure the amount of power used by each circuit, maybe the ability to turn a breaker on and off, and finally, the ability to integrate the subpanel with whatever solar system I have installed and maybe even the battery backups. There are really only two players in the smart panel space. The Leviton Smart Load Center and the SPAN Smart Panel. The Leviton Smart Load Center uh, is what most of the electricians in your area probably sell today. And um, the big drawback that I found from the Leviton was uh, all the breakers are what's smart. The panel is not smart. So in a perfect world, I would imagine a panel that had the Wi-Fi and the smarts built into it, and the breakers themselves were dumb. But instead, with the Leviton, with the smart breakers, each individual breaker in the panel connects as its own Wi-Fi device. Also, the breakers within the Leviton panel um, can only be turned off from the Leviton app and not turned back on. And then finally, with the Leviton, there's no solar integration specific um, to the product. However, the SPAN smart panel has a single Wi-Fi connection from the panel uh, with relatively dumb breakers inside of it. You can turn the breakers on and off uh, from the app, as well as monitor the specific load from each breaker uh, within the app. This video series is going to be about my saga of trying to order a SPAN smart panel. And the saga begins on their website with the buy now button. What the buy now button does is ask you a few questions so SPAN could get an idea of what it is that uh, you need to purchase from them, uh, which I assumed would be followed up with a phone number of who I could call to get a SPAN order. Uh, come to find out, once I answered the questions, they said they would contact me. Uh, minutes after my submission, a uh, text message uh, was fired off to me and it was their automated bot responding to me in text messages trying to set up a sales call. Uh, I was really surprised to see that the sales call was over a month away just to get a subpanel. Um, I understand if we go back to the company, they're going to say, well, to be able to scale, we need to have these automated systems and have phone calls that are way, way out in the future. But, but come on. I understand the need for a new startup to scale quickly and onboard clients as quickly as possible. But you can't do that on the backs of unhappy future customers because they had to wait months to talk to a sales rep and to speak with an automated bot via text uh, in advance of that. To me, this feels like premature business optimization. The way I would go about this is I would staff 20, 30, 40, 50 people in sales to rapidly onboard extremely happy customers and then on the backside learn how we could then optimize the process and then put in the optimizations. It almost feels like they optimized before they knew what their client onboarding problems would be. Luckily, I was able to plead my case to the automated bots as well as send some random emails to the SPAN folks and I was able to get a sales call uh, almost the same day 
even though I was on the schedule for a sales call five weeks uh, from that day. Um, I spoke with the salesperson. They had me take a whole bunch of photos of the various sub panels throughout my home and send them to SPAN. And by the end of the next day, I had a quote, I signed it, and the SPAN sales rep told me I was being sent to scheduling for installation that could be six to eight weeks away. As far as price, I think it's rather reasonable when compared to the Leviton Smart Load Center. I was getting quotes between three to $5,000 to install the Leviton Load Center uh, by my local electricians, and that did not include the additional smart breakers needed to be able to monitor it. Uh, can, and then look at the price of the span. Uh, that's uh, around five fifty five hundred to fifty nine hundred dollars per panel uh, to install. I think it's rather reasonable. Another thing that kind of is disturbing with the Leviton is if you go on Amazon and you attempt to purchase one, the panel itself is only about one hundred and seventy dollars. The other three to five thousand dollars is the labor cost to install it. While I had some hiccups trying to schedule my first call with SPAN, I am thankful that my sales rep broke the internal processes that they had in place uh, to get me on the phone almost immediately. And I am super excited to get my hands on their hardware and software to see if it lives up to my expectations. I'm not quite sure what the next step in the process is. I'm waiting for them to reach back out to me. And when they finally do, you folks will be the first to know. Thank you very much for tuning in to the first installment of the SPAN acquisition. As soon as I hear something back from SPAN, I will do the second installment, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Totals.